Well, the doors for trade between the U.S. and Japan opening to a $7 billion future for Montana agriculture. President Trump and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe today signed the first stage of a new trade policy between the two countries. Well, tonight, reaction from Montana. The Montana Ag Network's Lane Nordland has more on how this agreement could benefit our state. Well, this week's news that the U.S. and Japan reached an agreement on market access for certain agricultural products is boosting the morale of farmers and ranchers here in Montana and across the nation in a time when falling commodity prices and trade have negatively impacted rural America. Important to Montana, Japan will reduce tariffs on products such as fresh and frozen beef and pork, provide a country-specific quota for wheat and wheat products, along with reducing the markup on imported U.S. wheat and barley, among other agricultural goods. Montana U.S. Senator Steve Daines weighed in on today's news. Today's announcement is a big win for Montana farmers and ranchers. I'm very pleased to see President Trump and Prime Minister Abe of Japan announce this agreement. This will level the playing field, giving us better access for Montana farmers and ranchers into the critical market of Japan. Big win for Montana today. Now, the new trade agreement will reduce tariffs on fresh and frozen beef along with pork, and those numbers will drop from the current 38.5% tariff to 27.6%, and eventually a tariff rate of just 9% by the year 2033. Reporting, Lane Nordland, Montana Ag Network. Thanks, Lane. Now, the U.S. will provide tariff elimination or reduction on 42 lines of agricultural imports from Japan, valued at $40 million. Well, U.S. Senator John Tester also reacting today. He says this trade agreement is a step in the right direction for Montana farmers.